So one day you're playing with your cult drums to expand it. And you get some sort of an error like this saying that it can't find the samples, can't load the samples, and maybe you don't know where the samples are. Well, no big deal. We just need to locate the default path or wherever you happen to uh, move the sample. So let's go ahead and go through this here. Then come down to settings. And right here is where you can set your sample folder location. Now we can browse to this. And it's going to be, let me just show you here real quick. It's going to be on your C drive, but in order to find it, come over here to view and make sure you show the hidden items. And then you'll see your program data folder. And from program data, you'll come all the way down to Ugratone. And right here is your Cult Drums 2 data. Okay. All of it right in here. So this is the default path. Now we can move this, which we actually will. Uh, after we link it here first. So just to uh, just to show you, so we can come in here to see, and we need to go to our program data, but we're not seeing it here. So again, make sure that you're showing hidden items, make sure that's checked first. And then we can go ahead and browse and then we should be able to see our hidden items in this list. So now we can actually see program data. And then we can come down here to you Gritone. And then I'll just grab the parent Ugratone folder. Bada bing. And then it's going to load all of that up. And there we are. We are now done and you're ready to rock. So load up your MIDI, play it in yourself, whatever you want to do. Now, what if you want to move that data to another hard drive or another folder? So maybe it's easier for you to find, or maybe you want to keep it on a secondary drive. I like to keep my samples on a secondary drive and not on the OS hard drive. No problem. Super simple to do, especially now that you know where the default location is. So all we need to do is either create a folder called Ugratone, or of course you can actually just head in here to again, see program data Ugratone uh, right up here to the Ugratone, and I could just actually drag this entire folder over into another hard drive. But because I already have my Ugratone here, I'm just gonna pop into it because I also have some other expansions here. Just gonna pop into it one level and then just drag this right over there into a different hard drive from C over to a completely different hard drive. It's gonna copy all of that data over and then we'll change it here in settings once we're done. And once you're done, you can head back to your C program data Ugratone, and you can actually delete all of this data if you want to. You don't have to, but uh, why not? Let's just go ahead, then head back and take a note of the location of uh, where you moved your content so we know where it is here. Head down to settings, come back here to browse, and let's go ahead and find that location down here. Ugratone, we'll just choose the uh, Ugratone folder. Boom, it's gonna go ahead and go through all of those samples and the uh, expansion that I also have in there as well. And we are done. We have moved our sample folder location into a different hard drive. So now of course you can go ahead and play with your Colt drums too. All right, so that is how you can find your data, find that default location for all of your samples for Colt drums too and or move all of those samples to a different uh, different hard drive, different folder. So maybe it's a little bit easier for you uh, to locate or you just like to have your samples like I do on a uh, secondary hard drive. All right, so if you wanna pick up Colt Drums 2 or any of the Ugratone plugins, expansions, MIDI packs, whatever, use code BENONI for uh, some percent off. I'm not even sure what it is now. 10%, 15, 20, whatever it happens to be, just use the code, use the links in the, uh, description below. All right. <laughs> <laughs>